A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim. I seek refuge from the devil against the word of God and the actions of man. A morning devotion, we call it Ta'lim or education. I'll start uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the Salati wa Nusuki wa Mahyaya wa Mamati lillahi wa Rabbil Alameen. La sharika lahu wa bi dhalika umirtu wa anna awalul muslimin. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, ashadu anna Muhammad abduhu wa rasuluhu. I bear witness that there is no God but he. He has commanded me to submit and that I do. I learned my morning devotion this morning is the piling up of wealth. And I'll read it here. It says, I would be lying in the El Hakimu the Kathar. Hatta Zurtumul Makabir. Kella Saufa da la moon. Kella Saufa da la moon. A Kella Lauta la moon. A il mel Yakim. La Tarawun Nel Jahim. Thuma la Tarawun Nel Ainin Yakim. Thuma la Tus Aluna Yomin Adin Ainin Ain. Listen to the words of God. It says, the mutual rivalry and piling up of wealth or worldly things divert you, but wait until you visit your graves. Wait until you die. You'll see that all of the piling up of wealth couldn't help you. It says, and then you shall know. Again, you will really come to know. If you knew with certain knowledge the end result of piling up of your wealth, you would have not been occupied with that so much because now you are faced with a decision between heaven and hell. Al Yomakiyama on the day of judgment, you will be judged between heaven and hell. And it is at that time you will say to yourself, well, the Quran says, Ilmel Yaqeem. You will see now with a certainty of sight, most of the things that we are involved in are frivolity. We're riding around in our high interest loans. We're riding around trying to occupy and, and conquer things instead of doing what is right, doing what is right by people, being a just person, having integrity, having values, and honoring the very God that created you. God says on the day of judgment that you will have to account for those things that you did in this life. You will have to account for those people that you misuse. You will have to account for those people that you devalue. You will have to account for those people you stepped on to, to get to the very position that you're in. You will have to account for the people you discriminated against to get to your status in life. You see, the Quran says, run the race to all that is good. Why? It says, the person who purifies their soul does the right thing, will be uh, ensured that they have a place with God. But those people who have corrupted their soul will also have to account for that. And their meeting with God on what we call Yoma Kiyama, they also will have to account for that. My encouragement to you on this short talim or devotion, listen to the words of the Quran. al hakimut the Katha. The, what, what is it worth, the mutual piling up of wealth and worldly things? Why does it divert you from your Lord? It says, Hatta zurtumul maqabil. Wait until you visit your grace. What does this mean? God gives us opportunity after opportunity when we see and go to funerals, when we see other people dying, whether they're famous or just average people. He says, don't you see people dying all around you? Will you not understand? There are two things that are constant in this world. There are two things that are promised to you in this world. No matter how educated, no matter how profound, no matter how popular you are now, you will live and you will die. 
So Allah says, Kalla sawfa ta'lamun. He says, and then you will know. And then he says, he said, you will know with a certainty. I like, see right now, most of us, we go to these funerals. We see people die on TV and you really can't grasp that that may be you one day. And so you carry on in your frivolity and your monotony of how you're doing things. And it is only until God slaps you on the head and says, wake up. You begin to realize when you're sick, you get, begin to realize when your health is failing, you begin to realize when God straightens your means of subsistence, you say, oh man, I am a mere mortal. So my encouragement for you today is to take the verse, don't you see people dying all around you? Will you not understand? Take this opportunity this morning to reconnect your relationship with the God that you serve. Take this opportunity to this morning to reconnect with the people you have wronged. Take this opportunity this morning. All the things that you have done wrong in your life, uh, a, a tauba, the Arabic word is tauba. Turn to God, ask for forgiveness, and lead a new path. Lead a new path. Thank you for listening, and I hope this morning you have a wonderful day. Woo!